So, to the Auntie Guys, how you doing? Downstairs in the old uh, Islington Academy. Very good. Very well, thank you. You uh, think, have you just arrived? Okay, just yeah, well, yeah, I think we got here at about 8 o'clock, but we've been sleeping until <laughs> about 1 o'clock. <laughs> Fair enough, so I'm um, obviously still fairly early on in the tour at the moment. You're still feeling, still feeling quite fresh, um, I'm assuming. We're not that fresh. <laughs> you would think two days into the tour we would be, but we've literally just came off a month in the States. But we, only oh, had, of course, yeah, we only had one day off at home to do a washing and uh, do a quick rehearsal for the tour, so this is kind of like show number like 18 for us or something. Yeah. Really, so. So, so you've got... Um, Got a couple pretty decent kind of looking sports. I did arcane routes quite late on as yeah. well to the bill and yeah. stuff. Like, how how did that kind of come about? Was that an idea you guys had, or was it just sort of someone? Well, we just really wanted to have um, bands out with us who we really like, who really great bands. Because I think when you go watch a gig, it's not just about you know the headline band. If you go and watch like a really good lineup, it's you know the making of like a really memorable show. So, in fact, there were two. Um, British bands as well. It's always good to support British music, you know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, um, how how did you find your your time out in the US? Was because was that I'm not was that the first time you've been or the <laughs> is that, we've been over quite a few times. That was like the second yeah. tour. Yeah, we? it's it's good. It's, it's not that different to the UK. Like really, we like kind of thought it'd be like just loads of rednecks. <laughs> it's kind of the crowds are pretty similar to the UK. Really, it's it's kind of it's the same really, it's just obviously we have different outfits. So, yeah, so is there anywhere in particular in the US it, that you enjoy playing or that had kind of a particularly good crowd would you say? Um, well this time it was actually the two kind of like bigger shows, the LA and the New York one. We actually played really well and the crowds kind of seemed to be most into the zoo, which is kind of usually is the opposite I think mm -hmm. for those places, it's kind of like the London of <laughs> of America, America, so. But no, the, those ones were both really good. I think the most of the shows were really good. Yeah. So have you kind of found, um, obviously, these be kind of uh, kind of largest kind of UK headline shows. I think that'd be kind of fair when it's say run. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. So have you kind of uh, what what sort of set have you been putting together for for this? Is it, every, you know, kind of everything pretty much? <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, we've had. You know, a mini album and an album. So to choose from them, you know, that's pretty much the minute you click in all the highlights of those two records, that's like that's like a full headline set. Sure. So we're kind of playing um, the kind of main body of both of those records. So um, I don't think there's any any songs we've left out that people will be disappointed about. Or <laughs> but we've got it covered. Yeah, we've got it covered. Up, yeah. Did you bring, have you brought out um, any, you kind of brought any new material to the tour this time around or? Not this time, no. Saving that up for a kind of... We, do, we don't really have any. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's next on the agenda then once uh, the yeah, tour's yeah, done? Yeah, Just definitely. crack yeah. on with that and stuff. So I mean, so still kind of firmly in that cycle then of not really getting a chance to get yeah. into some new material. Well it's literally been that, we've been so busy this year. I mean the record came out in May, wasn't it? It's that May. And since then, it's just been an absolute roller coaster. We've not had, you know, we had a couple of days here and there, which just enough to like, you know, uh, gather breath. Never mind yeah, get so. into the studio and do some writing. So, I think once this tour is over, we're going to have obviously all the, you know, like a good lengthy winter break. So we'll get yeah. back into the studio, back home in Glasgow then, and see what comes out. So, so I mean, would you like to kind of go crack straight into another album, or just maybe uh, see what happens and kind of? Make a decision. I mean, I guess see what happens. I mean, I, I guess it would depend on how writing's going, and there's, there's no solid plans or anything. Nothing's been set in place, so I think it will just be uh, it'll be up for discussion as the time goes on. We'll see. Mm. Unless I, have, I don't know, we maybe don't have plans. <laughs> when we go to the yeah, studio. I'm and not sure. I'm, I'm <laughs> not Who knows? Who knows? So as you get, do you kind of find it uh, like? Um, it's just kind of like okay, we'll get a couple of days to do it, to just do it and then get lost in it a bit. Do you think that'll happen? Like that's the sort of plan or just? Uh, I don't know. We we kind of we like usually we get like tired after like two hours. We're like, <laughs> yeah. we're like oh, we just stop. So I don't know. It kind of it kind of happens sporadically, and hopefully we'll just. You know, we don't really have a plan to record it yet or in terms of like, so many songs, but uh, <laughs> so I don't know. Hopefully, at some point next year we'll get to it. I think I think we'd all like to just start writing and recording again, but I think obviously. 
it's still relatively new album. Maybe. Yeah. So, so I mean, obviously you got um, got London tonight. I mean, and you're saying kind of uh, the the LA and New York are sort of London of the US. Do you, do you find it's a bit di- quite different playing here? Do you think compared to quite a lot of the rest of the UK? It's just I think a lot more. It just gets a lot more pressure gets put on it because it kind of I think it gets built up because it's kind of where the music industry lives and stuff like that and we kind of just had the history of like coming here for industry shows and stuff when we started so mm-hmm. but this just should be different because it's actually our gig and there's quite a lot of people coming to see us I guess well for us anyway so um, yeah no it should be cool so it's not as scary as it usually is <laughs> <laughs> so have you have you guys played in the Islington Academy before we played with the Bar Academy yeah, yeah. Like the Spill Academy so like four years ago or something like that. So have you, I mean, I, I doubt you guys have sound checked yet, have you? Have you been yeah, a bit yeah, early in the afternoon yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. for that? So have you, I mean, have you had a look around? Have you been to shows here before? I've never been to a show here. I've seen that at Ocean Size, like videos, I've like videos yeah. that Ocean Size played here. That's only kind of, and we played actually, we, we came here, we played a bouncy ball game in that big room. We did. That. that was a good bench. <laughs> <laughs> games and ball bouncy balls. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. So thank you very much for... Uh, for your time and I hope uh, tonight and the rest of the tour goes really well. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Nice one. Cheers, man. Thank, Thank you. you.